Hello everybody, welcome to the Tech Talk Africa podcast. I'm your host Jesse and I'm your host Victor. Kama kawaida, we are telling stories of our week, how it was, and the last episode was good. You guys go check it out. Yeah, the episode is actually really doing very well. Good numbers. Eh, hey, mnika mlipenda guest. Mlipenda stories zake ama mlipenda guest ama you're talking about tech. Ama mlipenda the idea. Yeah. Perhaps maybe I think tunafaa tufanye easy episode hiyo maybe. I don't know. But no, depends no, with the no, guest. No, depends no. with the guest maybe yeah. But I was There's no difference. Ilikuwa ngoja Leslie akuwa anaongea hizi vitu na nini. Aseme <laughs> microphone na Kiswahili. Aseme by the microphone na Kiswahili. Yeah. Hey. No one has a Swahili no. tech podcast that talks about Swahili things in tech. The target market would be a different, a different market. Hello, hello. Yeah. Anyway, Victor, <clears throat> how was your week? Oh, yeah, yeah. It's, yeah, it's been chill. Mikuwa kama kawaida, nothing much going on. Mm-hmm. Running around, story two, za kawaida tu, shule. Uh, was at that talk. Mm-hmm. The last time you were shooting, uh, was at that talk at IHUB. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. No, that was good. Yeah. yeah, it was an interesting talk, by the way. Mm-hmm. But aside from that... Kwa tu kwa nyumba this week mm-hmm. na shule shule kidogo malizi jo and what about you <laughs> hey. na maliza for me was busy mm-hmm. and this week corporate life tried to have a consumer. corporate yeah 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 when corporate babe as you see corporate babe <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but corporate life, corporate life consumed me so much yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah i was in and about photography in school blah 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 and then meetings here and there So so this is where the money you're talking about is coming from. Yeah. The, because you guys eh, maybe we should put a pay bill for the podcast. I don't know you guys should. But if you're putting a pay bill <laughs> it's for Victor. <laughs> tip the podcast tip TTA. Jiro <laughs> Nekana Jesse is already well established. <laughs> But anyway, mm. yeah so my week it was it was amazing it was mm. some nice stuff. Uh I don't know. Mm-hmm. But was good was good was good looking nice, forward nice, to nice. to dropping episodes every week by the way you nice new year new year new, year. new, year, new things you nice danganya basi by the way to make it seem we should be doing that na kini we've not been doing so this time we are trying to catch up be a consistent uh, podcast yeah 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 remember to subscribe and we are at sema box kama kawaida kama kawaida so, we starting segment 1 We're talking about Safe Boda. But not that much, it's just a mention. Safe Boda is back. What does it mean for you, Bano Victor? The news. Hey, um honestly, eh, hey, I mean, I'm like shocked, dog. But who could to Safe Boda? I've never oh. used Safe Boda by the way. It was cheap. It was cheap. It was very very cheap compared to the to the others. To the others. Yeah. But you know just I I've realized if you use one app for a long period of time Nikama it gets used to the prize the prize is Nikama the kind of sugar mm-hmm. because <laughs> eh apa na that logic doesn't apply because si le- I've been full zaying for the longest time <laughs> <laughs> and then <laughs> it's stuck at 900 no no i'm not talking about now full liza my kwani algorithm is open different nini maybe yeah yeah nini ya full liza na uba if it's based on consistency of using the product I don't know me as a gesture of Fuliza and Gambia but ni I, I notice like these days I get a lot of promos mm-hmm. on like Cuba because recently like since the like end last year na the way he moka imeanza I've been using Cuba a lot uh-huh. so ni yeah. notice like the prices are shifting zina shuka so now my Uber and my Bolt mm-hmm. are kind of like competing competing uh-huh. so what i don't even see like the need so and also mm-hmm. i don't know how what what receive safe boda again because we already used to now uber na and bolt bolt i love there's those guys who use little cab na I, the I other one i think for me it akuwa ni part of pricing mm. if the pricing will be fair was when you ataruka to safe boda because majority of the people were sad when safe boda will exit by the way So because it was very cheap when I took it out up to the town labda na itebo. And imagine that was very good. Okay, kama unasema kama ndudi. Baby kama kama the prices are contestable as in what is a contest is the prices that are yeah, currently yeah, yeah. in place right now. Mm-hmm. Then uh, we are good. Me at me had switch to safe boda. 
I don't know even by the kama the nini is I'll check later lakini yeah but anyway that is that is one and then the second the the AI the AI bill yeah na robotics yeah so kuna fine ya meter moja to unregistered entities that are practicing AI and robotics yeah, yeah there's uh, I saw it uh, the one that was mentioned last year so mm-hmm. and uh, it's supposed to be put in place in I think soon should be March kama si korong ama kama si ya March I think in April March nini ni, maybe no April ni startups oh April ni startups April ni startups mm. Yeah. So you find you, is it fine am I just going to talk on Alipa that uh, million? That is fine for unregistered entities in case you are practicing it. <laughs> Now, mean kona ni kona issue sasa. Mm. Because una check for what kama Reni so code with kids. Yeah. Anafundisha watu mtaani robotics. Yeah. Yes, she might be registered or not registered. But do you think sasa hizi vitu si unajua zina kuja ku it's limiting. It's a limiting factor by the way to growth me that is my own stake kwa hii stuff yeah una, you you una, una, una give a good point because if you think about it i say hana hana like maybe it's just someone who's coming up with a new thing you know yeah. so akuna when i'll be having just a million dollars at a million dollars uh, a million a just million sitting yeah 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 mm. it would alafu that would mean i have two choices mhm mm-hmm. Either ningangane it after sponsors or I just close it down. Yeah because I think also there is no there's no way to up legality when you when startups are growing. Mm. There's no one providing a way to founders and see zile enzi because nowadays even accelerators they're not even doing the better most of the startups. So una palta zina kuja ku consume ku consume the startups the founders that there is no growth as much as Kenya is known as the silicon savanna blah 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 and that kind of stuff I think it's just a limiting factor I mean easy stuff za AI Actually una uh, uh, we were having a conversation sometime mm-hmm. Now there's this conference which usually happens in uh, in, in the start of the year January mm-hmm. Now they had a topic where they were talking about uh, when uh, the startups the amount of money that has been pushed into startups mm-hmm. it will decline it will decline in 2023 by around 40 40 something percent to about actually, 40 percent. but actually last year mm. Kenya it surpassed Nigeria mm. in the amount of startups that were funded okay it, it usually was Nigeria but yeah, Kenya yeah, last yeah, yeah. year was the best so Kenya made more Yeah, we were funded more. In uh which to turn up to we to what happened. Uh the government in Apitisha is lost as you let's get in last year but could go near startups. Yeah, they are. So it's do you think it's to confine these things because there was a thing mini and up uh, Westlands innovation launch but I think it's just coming into evil. It's an old something thing. Uh I went and the then, latitude one. No, 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 oh. the latitude one. There was a there was someone launching their app they were trying to find cash oh, so oh, fundraising yeah. so mean mendauko and then there was this government people they came in and someone stood up you know you are students with companies mm. I, you know by the man you call it a company blah 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 you <laughs> <laughs> you 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 try you say wa we say mom talk by the man and i a company because you have an idea that you haven't placed it so akasema i may register company kama 10 mauritius yeah ni third year from saint third year i may register i may register company 10 mauritius and that is because of the tax laws in kenya and you can see also the same case as applied to is it must startup sort is in rwanda kama wasoko is going to rwanda blah 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 unaona vitu mob zimeenda rwanda so that would be the same case na nini when you say boda really exit uh, no 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 so boda was during the covid season yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah that was a rough season for them but, and then nizorate zao wange survive but currently vitu mingi zina hinder because see startups peke yake zinatoka the country mm-hmm. yeah but do you think government in a play the major role I feel like uh-huh you know I know like observe because kuna venye because all the taxes that are being imposed like the fine that you are having to pay money that utterly makes sense mm-hmm. you're like adi unashanga um now what do i do because 
uh, everything and anything you do, if you have an idea it ma- ni money it costs money it doesn't cost money to even it doesn't cost money to start it uh-huh. but it costs money to, to run to it run through, it. yeah yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Kuipitisha ndo, ata hii, like, is proud to request something into the idea that you actually want. Mm. Lakini, eh. Yeah, but if you're watching and you do, like, legalities as startups in terms yeah, of yeah. in terms of law, uh, you can comment down or just ping oh, us up. for an episode. We can yeah, talk yeah. about these things. Yeah, they can tell uh, us more because CC uh, experts. Yeah, because we don't see a lot of startups squeeze easy come up. No, 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 no. We just see something something funded. Because kama juzi market force na scale ilidunda, market force was good. Mili likona juo market force mm. inenda kukua unicorn and then blah, 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 vitu zimefanyika up. I won't mention, but you go check the news. So, unawana hizi stories zote. <laughs> Mimi, Gava, yes, wasi wengi wanasema Gava inenda kuintroduce hizi vitu ku, as a liability to startups. Very much. So, do you think the government I only like It's not doing it for the greater good. Not really. Not really. There's like 20% is for the greater good because of the laws. Mm. Is in our access trait. But the 80%, you have to do it. That is the chunk we don't know. We're not checking. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Do you, hey, it's all fine, but uh, they are like crazy. Because you can do, imagine do, now for, for creators, uh, they've not entered into the podcasting scene. Yes, as much as we are all creators, but they're in these other spaces because they know these other spaces of creators, they make money. Yeah, like good money by the way. Yeah, of course. Now, but you can imagine if they come to the podcasters, what will happen? How will it be implemented? No, I think that that's something that you're going to see like maybe in a few years to come. But to say, you, say mm-hmm. space, the space eco, it's like... You t- to say yeah, yeah, it's a startup. Yeah, it's fairly new. Anything below 10 it's, years. Yeah, it's, it's, it's still new. So mm-hmm. by the time it grows to a point where mm-hmm. people, are, you know, people are pumping money into the industry, up and down, they come mm-hmm. and they shine a light now on the, on the, on the space. And all of us are going to go to the CC. We're going to go to the But do you think you have to go to the CC? Do you think you have to go to the CC? Do you think you have the robotics one yeah yeah they build things for the for the military there's usually even a big expo for robotics and ai and then the military comes to shop for these items like this startup is doing a good thing they can weaponize this tool and blah 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 do you think that can happen here in kenya mm, uh, 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 uh. i am not sure but because uh, what's because the best as in give me the as in the five best uses of you can assume of ai and robotics in your daily life in your daily life yes apart from kuandika scripts the podcast and kusaidia the assignment like daily life do i use ai and robotics have it to me my self driving ubers vitu mm-hmm. guys or maybe like helping help help us kwa nyumba mm-hmm. things like that of course in this but, in but, this in this third world setting or oh, in the third world setting yeah. no no okay that one that can't work mm mm-hmm. Maybe the only place it would really apply in the third world setting. Labda ni kwa military. But do you Because think even the military we can can it open doors? I don't think so. You okay. I see there's a time nakunga there's one episode we talked about uh, we mentioned something about how we don't really support whatever is coming from home. Yeah, exactly. You know. Mm-hmm. So the same way atakama the government is picking money your money has to drain and up because it's not, it's not being invested back into that industry technically yes so because i don't think they see the growth of of this thing you see ushaenda barabara za kuenda kirinyaga nya ururu uko hivyo yeah yeah ushaiona hizo the good roads yeah true because those people know maybe us going there to enjoy our holidays in the mountains it's a very good experience we need to go fast and blah 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 But when it comes to yeah, when it comes to democratization, let's mm. kibira. Now, those are the challenges. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When mm. now it comes to tech, like NEC system is totally safari. You see, you put 100 people here trying to access that website. The 101 person atakuwa na struggle. 
So you know the, the thing that happened so much in mm, these things. Yeah, yeah. So that's the thing that happened last year in time there was a dose attack. There was a dose attack. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Because all of a sudden we were waking up in the morning and you can't access easy way to yeah, because yeah. you have not used money to like secure and these secure things, yeah. these things. It's very easy like to do something to the website. But I don't think there is much also of education being offered peer by NG. Maybe me, okay you me, see in terms of maybe kuna privatization what's it come Africa hakon ya kina Brett Gamelli yes kuna ma NDA they've signed with the government they're doing things with the government yeah. trying because nowadays mm. think, things have tried to improve things have tried to improve in terms of cyber sec and nini, nini. as much as we hear of the little things mm-hmm. things are trying to improve even the user interfaces of government products yeah see, yeah it was in a digital mm-hmm. because that are like paying paying for like school fees mm-hmm. only for two just through the portal yeah, yeah and mm. it's very very easy and it very wasn't fast. like that although people are contesting it mm-hmm. I've, i've not seen the fortilia the story much but the monarch are contest because of some government issue yeah the government in Libya. anyway you guys tell us down in the comments what do you think is the role of the government in these things as in, in tech what is the role of the government beyond the taxation the rules the incentives that they are saying so can you tell us what you think about that now Vic, back to safe border mm. safe border is back in kenya there is a good revolution it's a good time and then kuna easy my ebs and blah 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 and then they are also coming for food Yeah. Now, to know your experience in the food industry. Eh, na kumbuka story ya kune na easy story nini nini nini. Yeah, now they're coming also for the food industry. Now, kuna easy story when the tax me raise imekuwa so high. Also, it still comes back to the government slightly. But do you think if Buda will hack it in the food ecosystem of China na ya magari? Ya magari maybe they can hack it because you can see we had billboards about faras and others <laughs> but <laughs> then me i don't know faras will talk happy one day to liam katul then faras was there faras yeah. yeah but you see the thing is uh, is it is it more um, uh, interact with it now nah, we we wanted them to to partner with us kokibera fashion week but then these people are not even replying mails we wanted them to offer rides to like discounted drones to to people to people yeah and then the the PR firm like, is not uh, even communicated. the the the, the one uh, like ride hailing service and you know na it normally does that in little cab mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah little cab is it good like invest in like partnering with other but you know me wanna because of startup grind little cab mil kona jua because they shifted they shifted i think to corporate kama si korong yeah i think so yeah. so they've not been in the street so much and like uba yeah, na boy because it's really hard yeah but wako although a small number yeah so now these people are back for food also me food food industry do you hey. think needs needs a hey no, no, come on. like in it was this one that uh, jumi jumi food yeah you really pack up bana ikali ikatoka this is because jumi was operating as a one man okay one man mean you produce some enough for money the mic na for money camera na for money and then mm. they want to do everything alone yeah you see for others they just tell you ah tutend tukuchukulie kitu hapa global tutakuchukulia kitu karifu oh global tutafanya hivi tutafanya hivi you see they're not operating the full chain peke yao so i think that is the same thing that happened to jumia they want to cook themselves they want to ride themselves <laughs> Urona, they want to operate the whole chain okay okay put that way um for the 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 safe border mm-hmm. they might have a chance mm-hmm. because kuna demand kuna demand for like his own like for a cheaper alternative alternative yeah, yeah. because uber eats is kind of like see okay the prices aren't like that bad mm-hmm. pure bold food of course is mm-hmm, there mm-hmm. but like if you if you introduce a uh, another company and it is a contest the prices then but do you, you might make it the, the contesting of prices in akuja on delivery am the price of the food <laughs> Eh, afu, the zone of the price of the food really is is shuka it depends where they getting the food from 
Sasa you si. might you, they might partner with like the the, the, the various uh, hotels and stuff yeah, yeah? hotels restaurants mm-hmm. so fast food joints mm-hmm. maybe I get gis- discounts if you use the app I want to carry that way it works mm-hmm. but I don't know like when will they what I make their profits lean wakifanya uh, hivyo I think maybe me what they can do is try higher riders mm And then they figure out kama wanataka kuwa na jikoni leo kuna jikoni wa high riders maybe you see you, <laughs> you can't it's the same thing unakumbuka last year is it, last year we mentioned twiga yeah we say they are they are trying to cartel the whole thing right now their ceo <laughs> is out <laughs> hey, you see and then they're going <laughs> and then they're going unaona it's the same thing zinyi zapen huko nje yeah 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 and people will say oh we are attacking these things and we are attacking. these are the things that are happening mm-hmm, mm-hmm. you see it's facts that are being brought <clears> out <throat> but if you try to just hold the whole thing for me it's if bodawa kikuja wachukue wachukue foods because they were good I want to talk because of covid a genuine reason as in to close down a business is because of covid and then you come back but sasa you see now they are back now vitu ni mingi of course i want to like vitu may change by the way in kenya like a lot mm-hmm. since the times it's been like three years since they were here yeah eh yeah. like vitu zime badilika a lot prices of vitu zime skyrocket as you can see you can see the dollar rate to the kenyan shilling it's bad they affect a lot of things mm-hmm. story of mafuta nini nini so i don't know siko sure kama they'll still be able to like they might maybe if they come up with a new idea wao <laughs> wajaribu ku innovate <laughs> like in si jui hakuna <laughs> new idea i'm saying unakata hakuna <laughs> new idea kwa industry saiba hakuna unless you make nothing, someone else, nothing new under the sun yes unless you make someone else better or you reduce it mm. by the marginal prices or something and then well because the way is that you you get these people weighing you on your platforms and then you sell their data yeah yeah you become a data selling company or you just become a profitable business you decide pizza ni 500 mimi kwa platform na uza 700 you just decide fully mimi 200 ni yangu sa so, utafanya hivyo aje how many people will buy it? useme utakuwa unaenda hasara ya unasema pizza ni 400 unalipa 500 and then wase wengi wakikuja ku sign up kwa app yako me you sell that data unajua this e business ya delivery na ride hailing eh hey, hey, ni crazy because ni like nimeona uber ya imeanza ku report profits just recently after all those years it's been in the market because uh, like uber is, ex- uber is not like you are since it's money expensive it, it has it's the one that has like the highest prices you know? yeah it's the you know top tier ride hailing app yeah now and on offer like the best service yeah you know? mm-hmm. because at, uh, i was having conversations with a uh, uber driver the flani and he was like you see even in in this in this business mm-hmm. at a kama someone does not pay mm-hmm. There's still a way you can get your money back. Oh. Yeah, because you know Kenya is crazy. Mhm. Tuna panda uba. Uh you get your destination. Akimel akifika tu hivi. Ama ndio amefika area. Alafu ngo mlango anakimbia. Ah. Anaenda. Sidio. So una kama unafika hapo namba 8 una unashuka hapo DC una unachomeke huko na <laughs> but yes 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 in it of out as in assume people are living in runda and stuff where will you run to but you could say if i live in runda you have my own car yep possibly in your mm-hmm. most of the time why wouldn't i just leave the house and go and grab my meal i'm gonna take myself to wherever i'm going it's the same thing you see now you for you you want you want to go there but for them that maybe it's it's the lifestyle on demand as in anything on demand is usually appraised until the people are realized eh hey, nyewe price stuff ni eh hey, price stuff ni mwenda i can't, well, I can't you know, manage on demand and you only realize that as a person in Asia yeah eh hey, mm. can't manage on demand unaona you may prefer eh hey, acha nitoke hapa ni ndi ndi janki ah uh, 20 shillings only you see and then you realize eh hey, ni kiti sha ira ndi nakuja ni 150 unaona hizo ni siku kadhaa mimi lakini unafaa consider 
Nigeria, Okada is the biggest business. Compared to Ndudi and Tuktuk. Now we are like Kenya we are like heading there. Yeah. Because Ndudis are like the main say anybody you find anybody on Ndudi. Cuz Ndudi it's EB bike. Zina kuchi. By those EB bikes ziko poor wala. Anyway, we'll talk about that. So, as we're coming to the, to the wrap up of this thing, I don't want us to consume so much because I think people are loving this short episode. Mm. So, summarize summarize the episode. What's your take? First of all, these bills that the government is putting across Burma, where they need to really like look, look into them, mm-hmm. because there's no way when you charge them to some money, mm-hmm. already they have to pay for a, a security license. A lot of ones are going to nini because they are not registered. Mm-hmm. Registering here in a take in eight hundred do I think mm-hmm. not, nah, I don't have a lot of information about that. Mm-hmm. I think they should just look into it. Mm-hmm. Such that it will friendly because there's no way the government is making money mm-hmm. and the citizens are not making money. Mm-hmm. That means there's no money that is flowing through the country. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, you in effect, you in effect generally the whole economy. How is it a win win situation for one one party? You know, for a win win situation. Yeah. Mm-hmm. There's no way we just you know win na mimi But that is the case. So but governments are governments, see to shakubali. Yeah. And I think for Safe Buddha Safe Buddha will really exit. I think a, a, a lot of a lot of riders will go Safe Buddha. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah. Uganda, Uganda what when in Safe Buddha. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think even they they had a they had a uh like a good working didn't say working condition I want to carry. They took care of the riders yeah. for the most part. That mm-hmm. is but pia una the same way na bold they're offering like so many discounts mm-hmm. that's why i think really quite cheap because in order for you to like have a lot of people you know people will always go for the thing that okay. is always cheaper mm-hmm. so do you think now say say in this current economy size bana kwanza the way fuel has had just it has skyrocketed in the last three years actually mm-hmm. say hey, how they're going to manage into the only they know mm-hmm. only they know because it's bold to actually go back into a market that you left exactly man. it's bo- hey, you know take you need a bold bana anyway for me i think niko niko that point here yeah. let's see what happen let's see what in terms of come easy episode zenye tunabunga jia news i'm just <coughs> open for let's see what happen <laughs> is there anything gonna happen to not talk up to put eh uski umefika umefika huko nje na sikia chef bodai kwa na license una siki so chef bodai imepigwa na na fine yeah it's no longer safe so uh i but think you know that's the, that's like what to like the the, the, the riders in uh, uganda mm-hmm. i think they were wali kwa na tetra story ya chef bodai mhm Really she died like or something about but in Lincoln or something like that only gonna tetra mostly because of the discounts zilikuwa anyway yeah so me honestly <laughs> i'm waiting to see so you guys tell us down in the comment how the episode was uh, subscribe share show us love mm-hmm. and then next episode we are going to talk about tech and mental health so hoping we'll be having a guest to on the safe border with kuja maybe kama itakuwa kama itakuwa but yes check on mental health so this is tech talk africa and we are at sema box be sure to come check here for your podcast recordings peace out